see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make oh, it. Oh, who's that condition. girl? Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Get your gun out, Jane. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming. Oh, it's a he. Oh, shit. Oh. And who knows if he has friends nearby? Can we fight him? Could be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Okay, so I'm just going... I don't even know what this guy's doing. He's a cripple, so... That's just fantastic. Am I going to talk to him, or...? Oh great, he has a gun. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? What's this guy doing? I am Arvo. I'm Hi Arvo. I don't want to shoot. Oh, he has an accent. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Oh, he's Russian. Uh, uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. All right. Let's check Arvo. No, I have no more guns. I swear to you. We just that, need medicine? to make sure. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. <laughs> you are already not nice left people. me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, you need we've it. got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that are stuff. Suffering oh just my as much god, as don't make me. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through oh enough. Oh my god. Oh yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, I'm, Keep I'm the bag. The I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No. Fine, I'll no, keep no, the bag. No. You cannot that was take not a good choice. Me. I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will fish. You had undone this. We could have, like, split the medicine. Like, take what we need. <laughs> no, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Is it safe to let him go? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I feel like we're a bit harsh on him, especially since he's. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. You know. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? Well, it looked like you were. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP. That was probably not a good choice to take his medicine. He's probably going to bring a group of people back and <sighs> come shoot up the place. 
So was that a good choice? No, it wasn't. But at least Luke will Clem, get better with Clem, his ribs hey. and... Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. What? You robbed him? Seriously? You stole meds from somebody? Sometimes you have to do bad things if you want to survive. Where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe. Nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Kenny did go too far. It made me uncomfortable. There's still hope for you then. It did make me pretty uncomfortable. He did mess Carver up pretty bad. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Great, Kenny's mad at me. Luke's starting to get mad at me because of the choices I'm making. I mean, I had to take that medicine back because I need to cure Luke. I need to help Rebecca with her baby and just everything in general. Labor yet, Kenny? What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. I wish Alvin was here too. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. Well, great. Yeah, Rebecca's... Bonnie in a while. Rebecca's relying on me to take care of her baby. I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. I just need to tell you this, Rebecca. I'm not good with babies. <laughs> so, wait, what do you want me to do? I need to go follow Mike and Bonnie. I'm not really sure why Rebecca's trusting, like, a 12-year-old kid to take care of her child. Her newborn child. Oh, God, Sarah. Whoa. Whoa. Sarah's going to die if she keeps on acting like this. If Sarah puts me in another situation like she did back there hey, in the trailer park, I'm I leaving her. went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? 
Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. Yeah. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. Ten more I, minutes I are you kidding me? just help. Oh my god. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Great, now I have to go to the Civil War Museum. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. So what am I supposed to do? Just look around this museum? <laughs> There's nothing really to look around at. I mean, all there really is is flags and cannons and... You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You would have loved this place. You didn't have to come with me. No, i Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. There's nothing, there's going to be nothing here. It's a Civil War Museum. What's interesting in a Civil War Museum? There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Like who? A water cooler. How interesting. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me yeah, too. Yeah, well, we're not going to find anything, Mike, so... I'm not really sure what you're expecting. There might be water in here, I mean... Empty. Oh, of course it's empty. Let's go look at these souvenirs. Oh my god, this is hey, just look. a museum. No, no there's no luck, so Mike. Much. Unless you want some broken glass. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Yeah, good point, Clementine. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, just get me something and let's get out of here. I tell you, I should... Oh, Civil War coat. How cool hey, is that? look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. I don't know, I still don't trust Bonnie. Clem found a jacket. Something about her. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Are you kidding me? You're really caring about who, what coat it was, who belonged it to? It's a coat. You idiot. Find anything yet? Not really. God. You really care about whether the person who was wearing the coat was north or south. Okay, we're going to open up this ticket. What's in this box? After this box, we're going to open up the ticket booth door, or whatever it was. Or we can open this up. It's going to be in here. Oh, water. Over here. Looks like this wasn't useless after all. Be fine, Clementine. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. You, you don't expect me to- I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. You can't right. expect me to All crawl right. through that little space. Can you? Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. How can she crawl through that? That's so... I'm stuck. Oh, great. Okay. She's stuck. Maybe I push from... Oh, my God. 
<laughs> no, this is the worst possible. Yeah, Mike, kick open the door, please. Grab by his throat. Do it! Yeah, great job, Mike. Grab him, grab him the walker by the throat. Well, that happened.